If you have been recommended to watch this video by YouTube algorithm about bioinformatics, then chances are you are trying to pursue or you are already pursuing a career in bioinformatics. People can tell you what is bioinformatics, but nobody tells you what is the career in bioinformatics. How can you make, become successful in the field of bioinformatics and where it will take you finally. So today in this video, we are going to introduce you to various types of careers which you can have as a bioinformatician or bioinformatics professional. But before I get started, I have a question for you. Let me know in the comment section. Why did you choose bioinformatics? What was there in the top of your mind? Please put that down in the comment section. Now, let's get started with, the, with, with this video. So this question keeps coming to me again and again from various students that if I do bioinformatics, what kind of jobs I can do? What kind of careers I can pursue? Where exactly I can get to? And what if I fail? What is my plan B, right? So all of that we are going to talk in this video. So to start with, what exactly is bioinformatics? Bioinformatics is nothing but a fusion, okay? A combination, right? So let's say you want, you have some steel and you have some rubber and you mold them together and uh, do some R&D and finally you have a car. So you combine the power of two different matter. The same way, when you combine the power of biology with computers, that is where bioinformatics is born. And I'm sure you already know this layman definition of bioinformatics. But what it entails for the biotech pharma industry is something interesting for you. So always in all my videos, I have always said that if in case you want to grow in the career in biotechnology, you have to remember that for you, it is career for the companies, it is business. They want to create a product and sell it in the market. This is how private companies operate. If you can improve that process 10 times or 100 times, they are going to bring you in to their company with both hands. You will be welcomed with both, both, with both hands. So that's exactly what bioinformatics does. Now bioinformatics is like a missing piece or you can say it, it's like a pump. You attach to any field of biotechnology and it starts moving faster, right? So what exactly you will be doing in bioinformatics? You will be analyzing a lot of data. So data management will be involved. Then you will be doing computational analysis. So whatever data you will get from the client or from the company, generally this data will be coming from the wet lab. And this data, you have to do computational analysis. For that, probably you will be writing algorithm or you will be using existing algorithms, pre-built algorithms to analyze the data and come to a conclusion. Then you will be compiling the report and giving it back to the company, okay? So this is what the work you will be doing. Now, to make it more simpler, without any technical knowledge, I will tell you this way, that okay, you are given a file which has got some random pages and then you just organize it and give it back. Right? So that it is easier for them to read through. This, this is exactly what they do, but in a complex format in bioinformatics. Okay? What makes bioinformatics very interesting is it is like an engine. Okay? So suppose there, there is a bullock cart, so it is going slow. Right? It is going at its own pace. But instead of the bull or the ox, you replace it with an engine. So it moves faster. Right? That's what is a car. Right, modified form of a bullock cart. So the same way you un you attach bioinformatics to any wet lab. So what is wet lab? What is dry lab? Let's look at that. So wet lab is where you go inside a lab and you use chemicals and you do some research, right? And once you've done the research, you have got the data. Now generally, if the data is like, okay, one page, you can analyze. Even if it is 10 page, you can analyze. But when the data runs into petabytes, of storage. It's like huge data. You can't read through. It will take you a thousand years to read through, right? That is where bioinformatics will become, a, become the engine to read faster, okay? What happens next is the skills which will matter to you. I'll come to the career part a little later, but first understand the skills. Now, one important thing you have to know is you don't need a degree per se in bioinformatics. You need the skill called as bioinformatics. Bioinformatics and computer science is a skill, not a degree. Please don't get confused. Biology is a knowledge base. Okay, so you need a degree there. 
But even if you don't have a degree in computer science, even if you don't have a degree in bioinformatics, you can always learn. For example, you, you know how to use a PowerPoint. Do you have a degree in PowerPoint? No, right? The same way. So you need the foundational knowledge of bioinformatics. You need to understand how exactly it is going to be used in biology as well as computer science at the same time. You have to have deep understanding of the molecular biology, genetics, and computational methods which you're going to use such as proficiency in some compute, computing language like R, Python, SQL, stuff like that. And then of course you need statistical expertise. Now this is where experts always debate with me and say that hey somebody who is weak in maths he cannot go for bioinformatics. That is not true. Statistical analysis doesn't mean, statistical expertise doesn't mean that you have to be very good in maths. All you need is you need to have familiarity with the statistical methods and softwares and data analysis techniques. For example, if you ask me what is 22 by 7, I may think a bit, but if I know how to use Excel, I can always take it out. So basically you need to have the right knowledge of the right tools. Now that includes the ability to apply this advanced statistical models, machine learning models, algorithms, and of course, visualization tools to interpret this data. So this is where this entire stuff is statistical in nature. But don't be scared because it is mathematics, because mathematics is anyways going to be a part of your research if you are going to do weather wet lab or dry lab. Okay, because all the readings will come in mathematical numbers, right? What kind of career you can build if to start with, okay? So you can attach yourself, okay? So there are two things, three things actually. You can attach yourself to a wet lab and become a bioinformatician who do, does the analysis. Second is, you can become a bioinformatician who can create software. So you work on the other side, like, you know, there's one person who will use Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint, but there is another person who will make the Microsoft Office, right? So you can be that person who will make bioinformatics software. So that's the second thing, like you can work on Schrodinger. So then third thing will be, you can get into core consultancy freelancing as well as your own research company. So these are the various ways you can grow in this bioinformatics career. Now, to make it simpler, I'll just tell you that, okay, there can be academic researcher, then you can attach yourself to a pharmaceutical industry and become a bioinformatician, or you can get uh, into government agencies and become a bioinformatics professional there, or you can associate yourself uh, with a biotechnology company, okay? Now, more or less all these places, the work is gonna be similar, just that the data will be different. So it's like, okay, you have to run, but the goal may be different, okay? Now, what is the future prospect of bioinformatics professionals? Everybody will tell you that biotech has no scope, biotech is not going to grow. But if I add a little talka into this, it is going to grow 100,000 times more. And let me start by giving you a story. Now, the story is of COVID pandemic. So governments had announced lockdown. Everybody was inside the home. We were stuck inside the home for complete two years. And we knew that traditional biology takes at least five to six years to come up with one vaccine and COVID was not going away. But magic happened. On one side, the traditional biotech companies made the vaccine using the traditional method. But there was a company called as Moderna. What they did is, using a Biotechnica subscriber only, he was a bioinformatician there, and he went ahead and created the reverse engineering of the virus. They, he looked at the DNA and reverse engineered and created an mRNA vaccine. And that vaccine was created inside a computer using bioinformatics tools. And then once they got the sequence, they went and created it in the lab. Right, and then it's like printing, like you just create the soft copy here and print the hard copy there. They created that. And then that got FDA approval within days because there was no viral particle, there was no risk at all. And then it was tested, clinical trials was done and it was one of the most successful vaccines in the world. So that is where mRNA vaccine with the power of bioinformatics comes into picture. So what did you learn here? The future is bioinformatics. You and I came out of the COVID pandemic thanks to bioinformatics. So it has got exponential data growth. Now the best, best part of bioinformatics is at the same time, you have artificial intelligence and machine learning also taking shape. So when you combine the power of biology, you combine the power of AI, ML and bioinformatics together, 
then it is no longer a car. It is a racing car. So you are racing now towards your destination. That is why it is saving money for the companies. You're not spending money on chemicals, infrastructure, uh, scientists' salaries and waiting for 10 years to get one uh, drug molecule. Instead, you can do it within minutes inside the computer and print it using a 3D printer. So that's the kind of power we are going to have with bioinformatics. Now, this will lead to advances in personalized medicine. So your papa takes the same medicine as you take the medicine, right? But he's a little old, you are a little young. So the only difference is the dosage. But what if a person who is allergic to that medicine, right? what other medicines we can give? What if we could get the genetic profile of that person and find out what all things he is allergic to and administer the drugs according to what will be more effective and more efficient for him. That is where bioinformatics comes into picture. So now coming to the place that okay, bioinformatics has got a lot of scope, lot of future potential. What should be your strategy? Number one, continuous learning. Even if you are a wet lab guy, learn bioinformatics. Even if you are a dry lab guy, publish papers in bioinformatics. Even if you don't have any work experience in your refresher, do some internship in Biotechnica, get the work experience letter, show that and get a job. See, in the next three years, 100,000 jobs will be created just in India from AIML and bioinformatics, okay? Imagine in the next five years across the globe, more than 10 lakh jobs, that is 1 million jobs will be created. So if you delay, you miss the bus. If you miss the bus, then later on, you only will come and comment below my video saying that there is no scope. But when I am saying there is scope, you are not taking action. So time to take action. Biotechnica has bioinformatics as well as AI, ML in biology internships. All the details link is given in the description. Check it out and find out how we can help you get there and you should, so that you don't miss the bus. One important thing here you have to know is bioinformatics is all about commerce. Okay, now how bioinformatics and commerce is related, let's talk about it. So, you know Apple, that is a $2.7 trillion company. Why? Because they stand at the boundary of art, science and commerce. Now, why art? Because they're beautiful products. Science because nobody ever has created a touchscreen phone the way they did for the first time or whatever they are creating today. And then the commerce because they are charging the highest. So the same way, bioinformatics enables the company to create beautiful, more powerful drugs, but at a cheaper cost. So companies are jumping in. Dr. Reddy's has already jumped in. Very soon you will see all the biopharmaceutical companies such as Bioconsengine jumping in. What are you waiting for? Do not delay because this is the chance to do your interdisciplinary, intercomputing work and this bio-IT revolution is here. To get there, you have to have a problem-solving approach critical thinking approach. You have to gain a bachelor's degree in life science, any degree, learn the skill of bioinformatics at Biotechnica, pursue your master's degree in whatever field of your choice, but apply AIML there, bioinformatics there. And I highly recommend you doing a PhD in bioinformatics. That will be a game changer for you. If you still don't want to do it, do the wet lab, but learn bioinformatics. If you can do a master's or bachelor's in bioinformatics, very good. But Remember, this is going to be an intellectual challenge always in front of you whenever you do bioinformatics. New data set will come, new problems will come, and you have to look at both and solve. That is how bioinformatics will grow. It's a challenging field, it's an exciting field. It has got diverse applications right from agriculture to medicine. But you can create a lot of impact on the society also. Imagine you do something inside a software due to which now wheat is more resistant to pest and uh, flooding and it doesn't die. So the farmers will be so happy because you know your software or your experiment helped him. This industry is here to grow. This industry is dynamic, this, this industry is evolving and this industry is a racing car. So do not delay. You have to join us today and this is what I wanted to convey in this introductory video on bioinformatics career. Thank you so much for watching. Now, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, anything you would like to ask about bioinformatics, or if you want to enroll into our bioinformatics internship, you can write to me at shaker at biotechnica.org or shaker at biotechnica.com. And below the comment section is all yours. Go ahead, comment and let me know how can I help. All the best. Take care. Bye-bye.